Hi guys and welcome to the show. It's your boy G Styles and we're out here trying to review the Samsung Galaxy Fold and I'm trying to help you guys decide whether you should buy it or you shouldn't. So stick around, watch this video to the welcome end. Welcome to the and show. Sure and in today's video I wanted to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Fold. It's made a lot of headlines lately. When the Samsung Galaxy Fold launched together with the Galaxy S10. Galaxy Fold is a device unlike any that's come before it. With the Galaxy Fold, you get a powerful smartphone and a revolutionary tablet, all in a single premium package. When it's folded, it has a 4.6 inch display. It's compact and perfectly portable. But when the device opens up, your world does too. With a massive 7.3 inch Infinity Flex display that transforms the Fold into a tablet. <laughs> I was more excited about the Galaxy Fold than the Galaxy S10 because of what it actually promised. The Samsung Galaxy Fold promised to give us six cameras. That's three at the back, two in inside, and one in front. It also promised to give us a 4.6 inch display. That is when it's folded and when it unfolds, it gives us a 7.3 inch display. Aside from that, this thing boost boasted of having a 512 gigabyte of rom that's 512 stories plus 12 gigs of ram including a 4000 a 4k 4k battery you know what i'm saying and two of those in fact oh no not two but yeah two making 4k yeah so the galaxy fold actually was promising more productivity you can imagine having a small phone in your hands and when you just want to you just flip it open and you can mount task you can have three apps running at the same time but um today well, my focus is should you buy this device um first of all let's look at the price point this fold comes at a 1980 starting price that is depending on the carrier and your region so meaning some regions you actually go as high as two thousand uh, more than two thousand dollars um aside from that uh, this thing is so fragile when i mean fragile i mean it's got hinges it's got of course samsung tested the hinges said so they did uh, uh, a lot of times it could take maybe five years for the hinges to break but um when you just hold it in the hands, I haven't held it yet, but from a lot of reviewers, you can see that when they hold it in their hands, they keep saying it feels so delicate, feels so fragile. Um, so um, what I want us to look at today is, do you need to spend almost 2,000 US dollars for a device that you can just probably drop and crack or just break any time? And Talking about breaking, the Samsung Galaxy Fold has actually uh, been breaking in the hands of reviewers in the past couple of days. Um, a lot of reviewers have actually attested to the Samsung to the Samsung Galaxy Fold breaking while they try to review it. So yeah, so a lot okay. of reviewers have actually had their Samsung breaking. Some of them is the fact that um, when you pull, you peel the cause this comes with a pre-installed screen protector which is apparently part of the display so when you peel out that screen protector you mess up the display and samsung didn't put a disclaimer on the box to indicate that um, that's actually what happens when you try to temper with the screen protector and some of them have just had issues with the phone just by mere use so meaning this device is actually not ready for mass production um talking of not ready samsung issued a statement and delayed the launch the mass launch which was supposed to be due at on 25th of april that's this month that's like today so yeah so they they've, they've delayed the, the release of the device until further notice so yeah so uh, basically for me it's not ready yet you know to be honest with you this is actually the phone of the future and like i said i was super pumped super excited when it launched but i think it's just too early for something to roll out such a device i think they still need to do a lot of tests i think it needs about maybe another year or two to for it to actually come to the to market uh, to mass market because I, I really look at it as it does and it's still in its better testing stages it's still 
an experiment otherwise this is the future device this is a device that if it comes into your hands if you pull up on a party and you pull out that's a device everybody will stop what they're doing and they want to look at what you're doing and stuff like that because this promises a lot of productivity even when you um doing something uh, you maybe you even traveling and whatnot you can have your movies you can do your reading you can watch your youtube on a bigger screen and still make calls on a smaller screen and and stuff like that so basically this is a great device but should you buy it i think not yet because i think it's not ready yet it's not up to standard yet unless you have two thousand dollars that you just want to put away and uh help samsung so that's it guys i don't have much to say be sure to join us on our next episode and click that subscribe button hit that bell icon in case you want to see or get notified when we get uh, to drop another video if you like what you're watching right now please make sure to give us a thumbs up and drop a comment below uh, we like to hear from you because apparently it helps us grow the channel and it helps us produce more videos so yeah peace next time